All right, let's get right into it. During the Bourbon Restoration in France, the right to vote required in part that a person pay at least 300 francs in direct taxes to the government. The four most common taxes, I'm not going to pronounce the French, were levied on real estate, both land and buildings, the doors and windows in taxpayer homes, the rental values of homes, and the businesses of artisans and merchants. Foreign investments were either exempt from taxation or taxed lightly. Although relatively few people paid the tax on real estate, it was the mean, main means of voter qualification and accounted for over two-thirds of government receipts during this period, suggesting that during the Bourbon, res- Bourbon res- Restoration, I don't know, land mattered? Something like that? Right? Because it's, it's a tax on real estate, homes, homes, mm, and the businesses. So land or, or, or owning some land mattered or, or being involved in some land. Um, so I don't know. But then again, although rel- relatively few people paid the tax, so land mattered, but uh, to few people, something like that, few people. I don't know. I don't know where this is going. Let's see. A, those people who had the right to vote most likely had substantial holdings of French real estate. Yeah, probably, because a few people have land and uh, they're using this to be two thirds of the government receipts. That sounds like a lot. So very few people hold land. So very few people would qualify to pay for the tax. Yet it's still raising a lot of money means that the people who do qualify for it probably have a lot of land. And so they're getting taxed a lot. That's my guess. But that feels like a lot of explanation. So I got to keep this. It does seem to suggest the two things I thought that... um, Right. The, the, there's substantial like land matters. Right. And that few people had it. I can kind of justify both those parts with that choice. Let's look at B, though. The voting habits of French artisans and merchants were effective in reducing tax burdens on businesses. I have no idea. Right. This is so narrow. Uh, I don't know if they were effective. I don't it's not saying the taxes were low. Right. It sounds it sounds like people or a lot of people are pay, or they're talking about the number of people paying it. So uh, it doesn't say it sounds like it low or not. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's not about the merchants. C, the number of doors and windows in French residence was kept to a minimum, but increased after 1830. What? What? Uh, quantifiers, <laughs> right? This is quantifiers all over the place. I, I don't know the trends of doors and windows in France in the 1800s. The passage is not saying. D, French people with significant foreign investments were unlikely to have the right to vote. Well, I don't know. It depends. Uh, did they own land in France itself? If they did, then they could have voted, right? So the, the foreign investment thing is just kind of like a random afterthought. It doesn't mean that if you have a foreign investment, it's going to disqualify you from being able to vote. It's just that that was kind of, they said, exempt uh, from taxation. So it just wasn't part of this whole thing. So we, I don't I don't want to make any judgment about it. It's just they're, they're literally telling me in the passage, don't worry about it. So I don't want the choice to worry about it either. So A did take a little bit of a explanation to make it right, but I don't think any of the other choices make any sense. So hopefully you agree. I don't know if anyone's picking choice C here, but the doors and windows, I don't, I would hope not. That's just like a preposterous thing to say. Um, but yeah, notice the dumb summary was not a very well-developed idea, but the passage seems to be repeating that like land is important. And then, you know, the most important word in any passage is but, and we have a but, although, although relatively few people paid the tax, it was the main means of voter for qualification. So instantly I'm just thinking like, okay, how is it that, you know, you have a lot of money being raised by something that very few people pay, right? The, the SAT is, is really making me think about that, that little contradiction there. How is it possible that you can get a lot of money out of very little uh, stuff, basically? So it must mean that the people who pay that tax pay a lot of it. And and that makes sense if they've got a lot of land that's being taxed. So, you know, I know nothing about French politics in the 1800s. I don't, this is not something I have any prior knowledge of. It could be all wrong too. I have no idea. But uh, I don't know. Just let the passage lead you where it's going to lead you. That's how these logic questions work. And I think that a mistake people make is they try to fight it almost. They, they, They try to like kind of rebel in a way against the fact that like, oh, I don't know anything about France. This isn't fair. This, this question's BS, you know, like this doesn't make any sense. And they start to like, I don't know, kind of spiral. Uh, just let it happen. See what's important. What they're saying is important. Write down a simple version of that. You don't need to get carried away and tell a complicated story. The choice will do that for you. And and you can see how complicated it is. And the least complicated ones are usually right. I think that even though A requires a little bit of thought, it's very, it's not much. So I don't think this is a particularly mean or very difficult question. I think it's hard, but still within the realm of like, you should be getting this right.